We are here, ladies and gentlemen, we are here to keep our promise to talk about botched the play. And it is, um, this one is interesting. I do not want you to miss it because I want your comments. So, um, Kimbia Pale, YouTube, keep your comments coming. I'm going to be um, going through them even as we finish. But right now, like I said, I'm not alone in studio. I want the ladies to introduce themselves. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing? We're fine. Hi. How are you? I am good. Thank you. Thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I want you guys to say hello to people at home. Mm -hmm. um, tell us who you are, what you do mm -hmm. before we jump right in. We can start here. Um, yeah, hi, good morning. My name is Beverly Ngoka. I am a student at the University of Nairobi and I'm also an actor in the play Botched and I also do some marketing managing for yes, Botched. For Botched. Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect. Okay. So thank you very much, Beverly. Thank you for coming to, uh, to our studios this thank morning. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Hi, my name is Jenny Watenga. Yeah. I am a student at the University of Nairobi, Faculty of Law, yeah. in my second year. Yeah. I am an actor in Theatre of the Absurd, and I am also part of the marketing team. Yes, yeah. ah, perfect. So you, you marketed, then you brought yourselves. Yeah. I am I am <laughs> happy for that. Thank you. <laughs> you got the opportunity, and you jumped on it, mm -hmm. and, and that is marketing needs such type of proactiveness mm -hmm. so i think you're definitely doing the right thing yeah. so i want us to start with um i know you're both students at the university of nairobi mm -hmm. so let's start with the absurd initiative mm -hmm. um what is it what is it about generally Definitely. um so theater of the absurd is a play that is it's a theater group rather yes. that is run by students and the people, the members are also students. Yes. So it's very interesting to see something that it's students from the top to yes. the bottom. Yes. So yeah, we're trying to express ourselves through art mm -hmm. to give students a chance to express themselves. Yes. Currently, we have a chapter in the School of Law mm -hmm. and then also a chapter in the School of Journalism. Yes. And yeah, we've realized that there's amazing talents in those places. See Masomo Kilasa, yeah. they're also brilliant at doing other things. Yes. Yeah. One thing that I liked when I was going through the synopsis, you know, like it's not many times I have gotten to host um, students from the University of Nairobi talking about art. You know, mm, like we, yeah. we sit here, we talk <laughs> the law things, you know, we talk about other more um, um, career-based, serious mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. conversations as you would put them. Not that these are not serious things that we are talking about <laughs> here on Art and Culture Monday, but it is it is brilliant to also see that you guys are also creatives. Mm -hmm. It's, it's yeah. very, very refreshing. Mm -hmm. um, so like you have said, um, um, Jenny, Jenny, you are from the School of Law. So you're in the School of Law chapter mm -hmm. of, yes. the, of the Theatre of the Absurd. Mm -hmm. So yes. what's the difference? Do you like tackle different, the School of Law and the School of mm -hmm. Journalism? Do you tackle different like plays and um, what happens? Um, for this play, yeah. we've actually come together. Yeah. We have some of us from the School of Law, then uh -huh. some of us from the School of Journalism. Mm -hmm. But um, in the past, we had the actually the chapter for School of Journalism mm -hmm. has come this year. This year. It yeah. wasn't there. Yeah. So we were trying to branch into the main campus because the campuses are far apart. Yeah. Yes. And we wanted to tap into the talent that's also in the main campus. Mm -hmm. So now for this project, we're working together. Yes. But in the past, we have had they've had their own separate projects. Yes. And yeah. then you guys have had your own separate mm. project. This is actually yeah. our first. Yes, yeah, so this yeah. is the first uh, of doing um, uh, like all of you together just mm -hmm. putting together a, a, a play. Mm -hmm. I like that. So that means you've tapped into a lot more talent. Yeah. Yes, yes. than you usually would. Mm -hmm. What other plays have come from the theatre of the absurd? Uh, last year there yes. was When She Mattered Most mm -hmm. that was aired in uh, Taifa Hall in the main campus. Mm -hmm. uh, this year there's Botched, mm -hmm. but there's more to come. Yeah. We did a recent short film for the arts competition. Mm -hmm. We won best short film. <laughs> yes, wow. And we're thankful. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. yes. So you're grateful about that. Mm -hmm. um, so like I was telling you before the interview started, mm -hmm. I realized that you guys are taking stories that have... Uh, legal matters in them i feel like you guys are able to explain it better than i am um in layman's language mm -hmm. there um you're picking stories from with a law background just put them with in layman's terms to mm -hmm. students out there so i want you to tell me more uh, Beverly. i feel um, like you can put it better than i can <laughs> well um I think when we think law, we think big words. Yes, we think jargon. really big things. Yes. Jargon. Yeah. So um, it's an interesting take to take all those big words mm -hmm. and sort of try to demystify them. Exactly. Um, if you look at our short film, it was mm -hmm. actually a, a learning process for me also mm -hmm. because there's those big, big words, big, yeah. big processes, all those things that students and people our age wouldn't understand. Mm -hmm. So it's important to sort of break that down to yeah. something that they can understand mm -hmm. and they can relate with. And the way the plays are done, um, we're taking serious issues mm -hmm 
and we're trying to put them in a fun engaging way to demystify so that at the end you're looking at it and you're like oh it's not that hard or it's not that big like, yeah yeah I, I think also uh, along the way you're encouraging law students and even students who want to pursue law yeah, to, yes. to <laughs> actually, you know, see, this is, this is doable. Yeah, like, this if is you doable. break it down, maybe we, we can understand. Mm -hmm. I think that's driving us to the heart of the conversation today. Mm -hmm. So one, the title botched. Why? Uh, botched yes. in English terms means something that was supposed to take place in a specific procedure but yeah. backfired in yes. layman terms uh, yes. so botched uh, the, in the play mm -hmm. how it's used in the play it's mm -hmm. to signify how this procuring of this procedures mm -hmm. how it goes and ends up backfiring on the students yeah. and how it comes to affect the society at large yes, uh, yes. Uh, perfect so then the, the synopsis what is botched about Beverly um, at its core yes botched is about sexual reproductive health. Mm -hmm. um, Botch is addre botched is addressing the conversations that we don't like having yes. or the conversations that we have put a lot of shame around. Mm -hmm. um, sexual reproductive health, for instance, is not something that we all talk about out yeah. in the open yeah. and so botched is looking at that botched is also looking at some of the things that happen in our schools we have the issues of early pregnancies yeah. unwanted pregnancies we have all that coming in and just it's a play that's ready to spark the conversation yeah. about those things that people don't want to talk about mm -hmm. yeah. especially matters sexual um, reproductive mm -hmm. health which like I like she has said it's a conversation that is not had out loud mm -hmm. um, out in s public circles mm -hmm. and those Conversations should really, really be hard. Mm -hmm. um, question: Why did you pick um, sexual reproductive health, or why botched in this time? Like, why not other any other play? Mm, well, we are living in an age where you'd think we're now woke. Yeah. You'd think there's a lot of information out there. Yeah. But what we noticed is that still in this time and space, there's mm -hmm. a lot of shame that's attached to these things. Yes. And we find that a lot of university students, a lot of students, a lot of people our age mm -hmm. are still suffering, not because of lack of lack of knowledge mm -hmm. but really it's because of the shame that's attached to these things it's very difficult for someone to walk into a hospital yeah. and you say hi i'm here to discuss um i have an unwanted pregnancy what are yeah. the steps for me for that yeah. it's very difficult for someone to have that conversation so botched is supposed to show really mm -hmm. that these are things that we can have these are conversations that are okay to have yeah yeah because even there but why it gets to botched is mm -hmm. because we are trying to avoid this conversation so exactly. you end up having them mm -hmm. with people who are not qualified mm -hmm. or people who don't even know what they are doing mm -hmm. just for the reason that they have created a safe space mm -hmm. yes. Yes, so I, I am I'm hoping that you guys are taking notes on this because these are these are issues affecting each and every one of us. I can almost guarantee because um ninety, if not a hundred percent of the people that are watching are young people or people who have young people, you know, parents to young people. So yeah. basically actually everyone, a hundred percent and uh, these are conversations, these are things that are happening. So the earlier mm -hmm. we start speaking about them, the better. Mm -hmm. So what is the synopsis for botched? What storyline does it follow? Um, uh, Jenny. Okay, so it begins with a uh, mother. Yeah. She is the dean of students in a in the school yeah. of medicine mm -hmm. called Mercury. Yeah. So she is expected to be this epitome of great leadership, this yes. woman of power. Mm -hmm. Boom! Out of nowhere, yeah. her child is pregnant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She has two children. Yeah an elder child called Hope, mm -hmm. a girl, and a younger child called Destiny, a yeah. girl as well. Yeah. So out of the blue, Destiny is pregnant. Ooh. What will the epitome of greatness do? Yes. Mm -hmm. Due to the shame that comes from, she's afraid of the shame. Yeah. She's come from far. She's done so much to be exactly. where she is today. Yes. She takes the child back to the rural area to be yeah. raised there out of the shame. Yeah. So we are shown how uh, she's affected by mm -hmm. that. She eventually comes back to town, yeah. despite her mother not knowing. Yeah. And uh, along the way, her first child, Hope, also yeah. gets pregnant. Yeah. So in the perspective of, oh my gosh, my sister was pregnant, I will also be taken to 
the rural area what yeah. should i do mm -hmm. the first thing that comes to her mind mm -hmm. i can procure this they cannot procure this yes. unwanted mm -hmm. child i don't want it yeah. mm -hmm. so the first thing she does is go goes and tries to procure yeah. but an she abortion. saved mm -hmm. and she's not able to yeah. she saved in time and uh, we see how this person has done various procedures yeah. and how it has affected people in the society mm -hmm. and why it should be stopped by specific quack people yes, uh, yes. so I, I think that is enough that is a lot most of the story but i want you guys to come and watch yeah. exactly you know how this plays out in an actual play mm -hmm. you know to see how the the small decisions affect or rather mm -hmm. ripple effect mm -hmm. throughout the other decisions you think you have made a decision for your younger child but your older child is also watching so like uh, that whole ripple effect and uh, everything that surrounds early pregnancies and abortion and sexual reproductive health you need to come for this one not just as a university of nairobi student even if you are not like mm -hmm. you need to go mm -hmm. and you need to watch the play that is botched because if you're not in that situation, you know someone who is. Yeah. Chances are that you know someone who is. Um, so let's talk, dog, about um, the legal the legal procedures that you know surround sexual reproductive health. Mm -hmm. Do you think we have enough information to actually, you know, like legally um, uh, get into these things? Like, for example, if I got a, if a student got pregnant mm -hmm. probably out of rape or out of you know out of such situations mm -hmm. are there legal procedures that can be taken and like uh, have we spoken enough about mm -hmm. the legal procedures that someone can be able to take um i think currently in the world not even kenya only there is a lot of victim blaming and victim shaming yes. and that hasn't really created a conducive environment for us to talk about these things yes. if today something bad happened god forbid um I would be stuck wondering what's the yeah. first place I should go to. Yes. So really, um, I don't think we have spread enough awareness mm -hmm. about it. I don't think we have spoken about it enough. I don't think enough people know what to do when they're caught in that situation. Yeah. And that's what also Botched is trying to do, to mm -hmm. kind of show you, to guide you, that if you're in this situation, by the way, you're not alone. Yeah. There's some things that you can do. There's some legal pathways that you can go to. But do I feel like they have done much to protect people from some of these vices that are happening? Mm -hmm. Not really. Yeah. But I feel like we're moving towards it. Right now, yes. we're in the 16 days of activism yes. against gender-based violence. So yeah, we're making some steps. We're not yet there, but we're making steps. There, you're making steps mm -hmm. there. So in your in your research, mm -hmm. um, is it like you have said? Is it getting? Are we getting better? Like, yeah. In terms of legally handling such issues. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Okay. It's mm -hmm. it's in the process. Yes, Let sir. me say that. Mm -hmm. uh, so far as Kenya is concerned, yes. The only legal, the only time that it's legally allowed for you to procure one yes sir. is when the life of the mother and the child are at risk yes you end up saving the mother most of the time yeah now when it comes to other procedures now people are still scared because mm. one there's so much to come with it yeah. religious factors why why yeah. why why are you why are you doing this yeah you know they they have been raised to know that it's wrong yes so they end up conflicting so much mm -hmm. so in as much as that is it's okay around the world it yeah. is growing mm -hmm. but in kenya it's still a, di mm -hmm. a dilemma is that there's a long way to it's, go it's still considered a taboo yes mm -hmm. yeah so botched is where to start you know if you need more information you you need to start with coming to the play that is botched so that you know you can at least know where can you start where to go who can you talk to mm -hmm. um who are the target audience of of, of the play well first of all students yes um definitely students so the primary um, um i won't say victims of, yeah. of, of this whole scenario uh -huh. mm -hmm. so students um when you're caught in this situation what do you do yeah that's those are the questions we want to ask yeah. um we're also the play also looks at the journey of students the complex um, decision-making process that mm -hmm. you go through by the time you decide that I'm going to get this procedure done. Yes. So students mostly, mm -hmm. but also it's sending a message also to their parents, yes. um, a message of compassion, yes. a message of love, yeah. um, acceptance. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but at its core, Kabisa, it's students. It's students. Mm -hmm. So if you're a student, you need to watch this one. You see, like we said, save up. That, that 500 bob, that 1,000 bob that you will go eat at Java, <laughs> it's going to be 
worth it. It's mm -hmm. going to be worth every minute mm -hmm. of it. Um, so let's go to where, when, and the tickets. So where is it going to be going on? When is it going to be going on? And the tickets. Uh, it will be from Friday, 8th mm -hmm. December. 8th December. Uh, all the way to Sunday. Mm -hmm. Uh, the play will be at the main campus, mm -hmm. Taifa Hall. Yes. Yes. Uh, so main campus, um, uh, University of Nairobi, Taifa yes. Hall, eighth December on a on a Friday. So it will yes. it will be going on Friday, Friday Saturday, Sunday. Sunday. Yes. What time? Uh, Friday. Mm -hmm. It's two to four. Um, to Friday actually is three, mm -hmm. and three. then Saturday and Sunday is four. Is yes, four. Four yeah. thirty. Yes, four, uh, four thirty. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. So two and four thirty. Um, you can be able to get it there. Uh, how much are the tickets going for? Um, so for the students' tickets, mm -hmm. it's quite affordable. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Because you're students, we are yeah. getting, we get you. Yeah. Yes. So for students, it's two fifty shillings yes. per ticket. Yes. And if you come as a group of five, napata discount, it's yes. twelve hundred. Uh -huh. And then for the regular. Or couple tickets are a thousand bob. Yes. Then regular attendees, regular audience, it's eight a hundred bob. Mm -hmm. And then also if you want VIP, it's fifteen hundred. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. So that that sounds from two hundred and fifty to fifteen hundred. Yeah. That that range is very doable. Yeah. In comparison to place that we have had here, that is really really affordable. Mm -hmm. So number one, if you're a student, you have no excuse mm -hmm. because surely how much can two hundred and fifty bob in this economy? just do for you other than get you to the play that is botched mm -hmm. <laughs> you know and airtime for two days max like it's it's really really affordable so this is our call to you if you're a student you need to watch something that is about you for you mm -hmm. yes yeah, so if you can make time on the 8th of december that is 8th 9th and 10th if you can make time can be a Palataifa Hall, University of Nairobi, with your 250 bob, mm -hmm. and get to enjoy um, the play that is botched. How long is the play? Um, the play is one and a half hours. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. one and a half hours. One and a half hours for 250 bob. There's, there's nothing cheaper. There's nothing that you're going to find <laughs> for that amount for you to do for one whole hour and 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. How was the, uh, was the, I want you to appreciate the directors, producers, the people that put this play together, marketing, like you mm -hmm. have said, mm -hmm. you guys, because I know there are people who have put in their work and yeah. effort. Eh? So I, I want to give you guys an opportunity to just give them a shout out. Yeah, our director, Maruto, yes. he's, first of all, he's a brilliant mind. Yeah. You know, some yeah. of the things you read in the script and you're like, oh, wait, how did you come up with I that? Yes. Practice. Yeah, and then when it even comes to the directing, you're like, oh, I wouldn't have staged that scene like that. Yes. But his mind is so brilliant mm -hmm. and it really, and they've created home for us, yes. a conducive environment for us to work. Our producer also, Carlton, um, they've done a lot to bring us out of our comfort zones. Yes. You know, some of us came into this very scared yes. and now we're, we're, we're feeling brave, we're feeling yeah. confident. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. So um, other than that, also a lot of the members on the marketing team, we have people who are working to create content, yes. to do all that, just to spread the botched gospel out there. Yeah. Um, they're working tirelessly, Kina Sandra, Kina Chacha, they're doing the most yeah. honestly. Yes. And then even the cast in general, they're just so brilliant and so enthusiastic yeah. to work. Mm -hmm. um, they all realize that this is a message that needs to be out there. Exactly. Yeah. So everybody put their far, their best leg forward yeah. to be able to do this. How long did um uh, you know the rehearsals take for the play? Uh, rehearsals have been since July. Yes. Mm -hmm. Till now. Yes. They're still ongoing. Yes. Uh, yes. That's a that's a long time. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's a that's that's telling you work has been. Yeah. You know work has yes. been put. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of effort and work that has been put, and it has been put for a good cause. So this is your call to come and actually the only way you can appreciate or participate in the spread of this gospel is to buy your ticket mm -hmm. and then go and watch botched. On the 8th of December, I'm believing we are getting into the festivities already, yeah. and they have given you three whole days. So if you're at work on Friday, you can come on a Saturday. If you're mm -hmm. still held up on Saturday, you can show up on the Sunday. Mm -hmm. So there is no reason, there is no reason at all for you to be able to miss. Wait, uh, is it open to students Students from other universities? Are they still paying at uh, 250 bob? Yes. Yeah, so what do they need to come with? Because Mimi Niksima, Mimi is student in <laughs> The yes. student ID. Yes. yes. So student ID. Please do not forget it because if you do, we cannot believe you. All right. Or rather, <laughs> just carry your ID so that you save up 250 shillings and you will be able to enjoy um the entire the entire um uh, show or the, rather the play that is um 
you know, botched, okay? Uh, yeah, so, um, Jenny, tell us, um, invite, I wanted to invite people, just for people who that were not here in the course of the show, just invite them to come and watch Botched. Hi, guys. Yes. <laughs> so, my name is Jenny, as I said. Yes. <laughs> We are inviting you on the Friday, 8th of December, 2023, to come witness a show like never before. Yes. <laughs> at the University of Nairobi, courtesy of yours truly, Tofa, yes. Theatre of the Absurd. Yes. And you will get value for your money. Do not be scared. Yes. Yes. So <laughs> come. We see you on that day, on yes. the three days. Yes. Wow. Yes. On the actual three days. So at Ukaiza Kuja, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, when Joe, you mm. will, you know, you will get value for your money, like Jenny has said. Mm. Uh, Beverly, please give us social media handles. Where can we be able to um, follow even Theatre of the Absurd? Where can we be able to? You know to know what are you guys working on what is the next project that's ongoing so social media handles yeah so on instagram facebook and x yeah. you can find us at tofa ke yeah, yes tofa ke that yeah. is t-o-f-a yeah. just that yeah uh -huh. tofa ke yeah. across the board yeah. so what after you will see all the posters for the absurd yeah. all the tickets um the ticket amount wait are we getting a ticket why well, not Yes, we can. <laughs> we can speak to management. We, we can. You can speak. Oh, you you are, you, <laughs> you are marketing. Yeah, and mm -hmm. If we can get a ticket or two, I would very much mm -hmm. appreciate. Mm -hmm. At least for the people that are watching, you know, to come and enjoy some a nice play just for watching and for participating and for sharing. So go get all those posters. Share them on your socials. Mm -hmm. Let as many people hear about it. Let's spread. Let's help the marketing department market. Yeah. And then you know, to that keep our ticket, they feel. Like it's value for money. If you yeah. brought five people, you are, it's not going to be a hassle yeah. to get, you know, to get one ticket. So mm -hmm. please go ahead and get your tickets for Botched. Where can they get the tickets? Um, so if you look at our socials, yes. there is links to yes. the where you can buy the ticket, basically. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, it's links by Madfan. Mm -hmm. So you can click on it, and then you'll get to add the tickets that you want to your cart, choose yes. the date that you want to come, yes. and then, yeah. Ah, okay. So tickets by Mad Fun. And also follow their socials at Tofa KE. Mm -hmm. All right, Tofa KE, you will get all the, their links, like a thousand mm -hmm. of them, all of them leading to where you can get the tickets mm -hmm. at. So if you can click on that, you know, Kada, just 50, you know, that's the thing. You better just some 50 buys. At a minute, as a Kuanga Vizuri, you have to pay tickets. All right. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much, guys, for joining us. It's been an honor and a pleasure. It's been easy, fun, sweet. So I believe every the message that we intended to pass has been passed over mm -hmm. there so it is upon us guys this is now the ball is on our court to go get the tickets uh, on the socials of tofa ke mm -hmm. okay let's go get the tickets and go and watch um uh, the uh play the amazing play that is botched thank you so much for joining us guys thank it's you. been an honor and a pleasure mm -hmm. uh ladies and gentlemen we are putting a full stop there on our third launch when i come back it's to wrap up the show that is art and culture monday